Hi guys, EBP Man here, and today I'm going to do an unboxing review of the Google Home voice activated speaker from Google. Let's check it out. Now today's the official uh, release date for the Google Home and it's available if you had pre-ordered it so most of you who have pre-ordered it would be getting it today. Um, they're also available at Best Buy, um, Walmart, Walmart I know have them in stock. Um, they just couldn't sell it till today. So it's something that is currently now available um, all across North America. And it's one of the first devices uh, to compete uh, I would say with the Alexa and that's the Amazon um, version of what you see the Google Home um, solution to be. Now it's, it's pretty interesting the way that Google has designated this product. While it's called Google Home, you'll notice that it's a voice activated speaker. And it does much more than just being a speaker for listening to music. So let's look at some of the features. We'll do the unboxing and then we'll talk about you know what kind of person would be looking for a Google Home device. Now for those of you who haven't heard of the Google Home solution, uh, it is a speaker. It does allow you to play music, but it's going to be much more than that. It's uh, one of those devices that really focuses on the Internet of Things and controlling the Internet of Things that you have in your home. Um, you'll see that because you'll notice here that it has uh, the OK Google functionality. Uh, so you're going to be able to, using the speaker, just speak to it and say play music. You'll be able to do any of these commands and it will take place. Now the one thing where this uh, speaker goes beyond uh, what you would anticipate in playing music and answering these questions is where you notice here on the last command line. And in that last command line it says turn up the thermostat. So this device is going to be or will have um, the ability to communicate with the Nest thermostat as well as any Nest product that you have in your home as well as the Chromecast solution. So you can tell it to play music on your stereo if it has a Chromecast dongle. You can tell it to play a music video on your PC if it has Chromecast on it um, or television set it has Chromecast on it. So it's really about connecting all these devices and ultimately more and more of the smart devices that you have in your home are going to be connected to the Google Home solution. So now taking a closer look at um, some of the other features, let's zoom in here for a second. So you'll notice here um, playing music is definitely going to be something that you'll be able to do but it's going to have a lot of connectivity where you'll be able to create shopping lists, you'll be able to set alarms, um, you'll be able to ask Google the questions that you do if you're a heavy Google user and asking questions um, you'll be able to do that and once again it's all about the connectivity that you have around your house. Now from a features perspective you have um, this technology is called FAR field voice recognition. And that means that you don't have to be really close to the speaker in order for it to recognize your voice or to take commands. It'll be interesting to see how far and how much noise it can deal with. Because I'll tell you, uh, having an Android phone and also having an iPhone, Siri and Google work well if it doesn't have to deal with noise. Once you're in a noisy environment, they really don't do well. So we'll have to see how this works. But I am interested in that distance. The other thing is it does support both 2.4 and 5 gigahertz networks. Uh, it has um, Android uh, built in. Uh, so we're going to see what the setup process is. It does have a speaker. So I think this is going to be a great add-on for those of you who listen to your phone in the kitchen maybe or somewhere in an office. You'll be able to have Google Home in that place and then it's going to be able to um, just play that music for you. Um, we talked about the Chromecast capabilities and then also the ability to um, play music at the same time throughout your entire home. So if you are in one of those homes that uh, or you've been to a home that has a speaker uh, system inside of the walls like a intercom, um, those homes can play music throughout the entire house but it's limited. Um, many of these solutions are still not Spotify enabled or Pandora enabled but here you'll be able to communicate with all those devices that are synced and intelligent and do the same thing. Now right out of the box I just wanted to highlight one thing because I know I'll get these questions on the channel. Well what does it support? Uh, from a music playback perspective. So you have YouTube Music, you have Pandora, Google Play Music, and also TuneIn Radio. Uh, you'll notice that you have all the other connectivity here at the very bottom where you have Chromecast, Nest, Hue, as well as SmartThings. Now this is a very limited uh, feature set of solutions uh, because again this is a brand new product but you could expect that this product set will continue to grow and more things will be integrated. 
Now unboxing the product is pretty straightforward. Once you remove two sticky tabs on the side that you see here, all you do is you just pull it up. This reminds me uh, very much of the packaging of the OnHub. And the OnHub packaging has a magnetic opening just like this where you just open it up and then here you find the actual unit itself. So you'll notice very small. I'll zoom out a little bit just so you can get a sense of how it fits um, almost the size of my hand. And this area here you could have uh, different color treatments. I have a lot of stainless steel appliances in my home so I went with this specific color not another color but you could um, have this uh, in a different color if you'd like. Um, and again uh, very simple device not much to it um, and compact. So let's see what else we got in the box. Okay so in the box we have uh, instruction information. So um, this area right here is going to light up with some colors as you can see it right there. Um, information about how what you have to do to get started. Uh, designing your home. So remember I talked about the different colors that you can choose from. Some more information there. Uh, we have a power cord. So there's your power cord. Pretty simple and straightforward. And it looks like uh, that's pretty much it. There's nothing else in the box. So. Uh, very simple unboxing, so let's go ahead and set it up and see uh, what it takes to get it started. Now before uh, plugging in Google Home, I just wanted to review some of the features on you know, just the aesthetics. Um, it is made out of a plastic material with cloth, rubberized bottom. Uh, you'll notice this is the power plug. You'll notice that there are no Ethernet ports at all, so this has to go in a Wi-Fi home. Uh, you have a speaker and then you have also or the mic and you have here the ability to disable the mic. Uh, I wonder how this is going to do when you have a lot of Google products in the home, like phones, and someone says, OK, Google. If you've been around people who have multiple Android phones, it gets quite annoying when everything just chirps up because it's um, listening to the voice. So uh, we'll see how that works. Then you also have this area here, which is cloth, and you can change the colors of it so this um, area comes off. So very simple design. Um, you'll notice also it looks like it has uh, two other uh, inputs here of some sort. They may be um, also mics as well. So let's go ahead and power it up. So let's go ahead and we'll add the power to it and we'll see what the startup process is like. So that's been plugged in. Um, and now what I'm going to do is download the Google Home product. You'll notice that it's already started uh, some special effects there, some LEDs that zoom into that so you can see it. Now what I'm going to do is uh, install the Google um, Home app and we get some little music and it, and it's just saying welcome to Google Home. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and do that. Now once you install Google Home, you'll notice that um, when you set it up, it's going to tie to your Gmail account and that could be probably the first uh, challenge that you run into. Um, if you have a home that has multiple users and you know their browsing history and everything is unique based on their Gmail account, it doesn't seem like you can have multiple Gmails at this time, but that's just my initial assessment. Uh, I did, once I logged in rather quickly, it, it identified that there was a Google Home device nearby and it's prompting me to set it up. So I'm going to go ahead and hit the setup. And it's, you can see there it says that it found a Google uh, Home device. So I'm going to hit continue. Let's zoom out a little bit so you guys can see that. And you'll notice uh, something's happening with the speaker. So you can see that there's um, a communication taking place. So uh, what I've noticed is with some of these devices, it's probably going to set up the Wi-Fi, um, you know, passing my credentials, my Gmail credentials, and getting everything established. Now, if this only works with one Google account at a time, you may want to consider creating a family Gmail, where that way um, everything is connected and you don't have to worry about um, your emails versus someone else's emails being read if, it, if the hub actually gets to do that, as well as some of the other things that you may be concerned with. Once you've gone through the initial setup process, you then establish your Wi-Fi connection. So that's what's being set up right now. You can see it has this cool animation getting up. So it's going to ask you to put the uh, Wi-Fi ID, uh, the password, and then you just continue with the setup. Now there's some additional steps that you go through um, establishing your home address um, and then also identifying where you can get um, music and uh, your music source. So you'll notice that you could either choose Google Play Music or you could choose um, also uh, Pandora. Uh, so I've all you do is you select Pandora and then it will go through the login process to link your account or you could go through Google Play as well whichever one you'd like to choose. Now to learn everything you can do with uh, Google Home all you have to do is hit continue and you can go through a trial process so you can test things. So I can say okay Google how far away is the moon? Okay, 
So I'll go on to the next one. Here um, you can say, okay, Google, tell me about my day. Okay. Okay, Google, stop. All right, so we'll try another one. Um, you can tell Google to play some music. Say, okay, Google, play some music. Playing some music on Google Play Music. Now I had switched it over to uh, Google Play, and I have um, some Spanish music on, and you can hear that it started playing uh, some music. Okay, Google, turn it down. Okay, Google, turn it up. Okay, Google, turn it up again. Hmm, <laughs> didn't understand. Okay, Google, turn it up. So that's how loud you can get. Okay, Google, turn it down. Now, you could also control it this way. So, okay, Google, stop. Continue. And you can ask it this question. Okay, Google, what can you do? Okay, and then you can just finish the tutorial. So in this case, it tells you everything that you can do. You can set alarms, you can get the weather. There's a lot of things that you could do with the app. Now, there are other features that you can set up uh, with Google Home um, if you go into device settings. So you could go back and at any time choose um, a different music setting. So you can just go into music. When you go into music, you'll go back to your accounts if that's something you want to change. You also have home control. And with home control, this is where you can actually set your Nest thermostat. So I have my Nest thermostat on and watch what I can do. Okay, Google, what's the temperature in the house? It's currently 73 degrees, but the house is set to 71. All right, so um, you not only can you um, set your thermostat, and then pretty much there's a technology that's being used here that is known as single sign-on. So as you choose your Nest account, you're going to have to sign in through the Google Home app into your Nest account, and then it will have connectivity to um, what's going on with your Nest account. So, and, and your thermostat and any Nest device that this becomes more and more aware of. So right now, once again, um, it is controlling, or at least it's aware of the temperature in my home, and I'll be able to control the temperature just by using my voice. Now we'll get out of this for a second. Um, so you have um, other things that you can do here, as you can see. Uh, let's go ahead into this area. So here are some of the Google Home uh, controls that you can go into. So hear songs from your favorite music, control your home as you can see, get the latest news. So if I choose to get the latest news, I can customize. So um, each one of these um, areas right here uh, give me some categories that I can work with. You know, we already saw this area, uh, but the news, you can say, hey, where would you like to get the news from? Um, you can choose customization. Uh, you can determine you know, where you want to get your information from, either uh, NPR News or Fox News. I like uh, Fox News. Um, you can see anything else that's uh, available on the list to add things uh, to your system. Uh, so that's one thing that you could do. Uh, you could then also look at sports. So you'll notice that um, some here's some categories here uh, that you can um, work with as well. So a lot of flexibility uh, when it comes to uh, some of the things that you can view. Uh, you can have shopping lists, um, services, get things done uh, with link services. So here you can actually link Uber. So if you want to be able to do that, again, it's just the process of choosing link service. And then when you choose link service, it's going to go to the Uber through that single sign on process. You sign on and then it will connect your Uber account if you want to get an Uber car to get you to some place or to find out what the fare would be. Now just taking a step back from the previous screen that we're on, uh, you know, we already seen some of the things that are here. You do have the ability to modify the name. You have the ability to get into a guest mode um, and turn on accessibility sounds. You do have, um, again, some communication is going to go to Google if you want to have some, some things for them to report on, as well here's some information about um, 
the Google connectivity. You do have a guest mode, which is interesting. Uh, so what you can do is enable guest mode, and this is going to allow anyone in the same room to connect to your Google Home without being on your Wi-Fi network. Uh, so uh, you know, if we hit learn more, you know, there I guess there's going to be an audio pairing that takes place with a pin uh, that allows you to um, you know share your Google Home if that's something that you like to do. So uh, so far. Um, a lot of functionality uh, that you have um, for a first generation product and the question you have in your mind is like well who needs uh, a Google Home product uh, I would say at this time it's very uh, it's a gadget right so this is the kind of tie in a gadget that you're gonna get the gadget person in your home you saw what the functionality is does it have a cool factor absolutely um, if you're the type of person that when you're in your kitchen you're playing music from your phone maybe you want a Google Home because you won't have to use your phone to play music. Um, if you're the kind of person that's always asking, hey, how long does it take for me to get to point A to point B, um, and you check your phone, uh, this will tell you as well. So maybe that's a good use for it. But again, it's kind of hard to say that this is a must-have device. This is more of a novelty, cool solution that is going to evolve. And if you're the kind of person that wants to be first into some of the technology, then I would say the Google Home is a cool product to have. At $129, I think also that this is probably going to be a really cool Christmas gift for that person in your home or family that likes gadgets. Uh, I'm so far pretty impressed, and I love um, like first-generation technology to, to just be part of the, of the changes and the innovation. So if you're that type of person, you may enjoy uh, the Google Home as well. So this concludes our review of the setup and install of the Google Home. If you have any comments or questions, leave it in the comment area below. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. And as always, don't forget to share and subscribe.